You know, they say you should always keep up to date with the tech news, but I never really believed it. Until now. Who's they? Sony apparently couldn't keep their trap shut any longer and has spilled some interesting details about the PlayStation 5. In an interview with Wired, Mark Cerny, lead system architect of the PS4, said that the next generation console will be powered by an AMD 8-core Zen 2 processor built on the 7 nanometer process. Yeah, but what does he know? Exact, well, he's the lead system architect. Last time. <laughs> and a custom variant of AMD's Navi, Navi GPU, which will support ray tracing. The technique won't just be used for visuals, but also to enhance the 3D audio capabilities of the console. The PS5 will also feature a custom designed SSD rather than the hard drives that are standard in home consoles. It will support 8K output, although we have to imagine that's not talking about running games in 8K, and it will be backwards compatible with PS4 games. Wow! If all this is true, the next PlayStation will be pretty badass. Hopefully Mark Cerny didn't just say it because he loves hilarious pranks. Mark wouldn't do that, would he? No, it would be it would be a pretty good prank though, Mark. Good one. Apple and Qualcomm have been suing the crap out of each other for months, years even, over patents, but they've now announced a settlement ending the dispute. The two companies' troubles centered around the Qualcomm modems used in iPhones. Apple thought Qualcomm's licensing fees were too high. Too damn high! Qualcomm accused Apple of stealing its modem tech and giving it to Intel. Speaking of Intel, that company also announced yesterday that it was exiting the mobile 5G modem business. Yes! Coincidence? What, you hate Intel 5G I've been modems? For this. <laughs> They're the worst! I hate their 5G modem. Yeah, it's probably not coincidence. It's unclear at this point which decision caused the other, Intel bowing out or the Apple Qualcomm settlement, but either way, the big winner here is arguably Qualcomm, whose stock has shot upwards in the wake of the news. Kind of sad to see this conflict die. What will we do for drama in the tech world now? Wonder, uh, check what John McAfee's up to. There's always Huawei. I have that too. And Bengate has returned, albeit in a new way. Reports are coming in from tech reviewers of their Samsung Galaxy Fold screens breaking, sometimes on their own, sometimes because of user error. See, the Fold comes with a screen protector, which can apparently be peeled off. Except when you do that, it causes the screen to die. So it's less of a screen protector and more, more just like, like a screen? more just part of the screen. As Mark Gurman from Bloomberg, Bloomberg. Other tech journalists' folds had their displays just quit working or be damaged from receiving pressure while folded. It's not a particularly good look for Samsung, but maybe we're just not ready for folding phones, you know? As a society. Also, even if you thought it was a screen protector and not part of the screen, doesn't it make sense to not take it off to like, you know, protect the phone? We're just so used to peeling things in the tech world. Feels so good. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by the Mastrop X Bayer Dynamic DT177X Go Headphones. The X means it's an epic collab. Yeah, yeah! Yeah! In case their long technical sounding name didn't give it away, Bayer Dynamic is a renowned German designer and manufacturer of high quality audio products, and the DT177X Go is no exception. With closed back ear cups, latest gen 45 millimeter Tesla drivers, and a durable design, the DT177X Go provides a wide frequency range and weighty controlled bass. It's perfect for everything from your mobile device to the recording studio, so join the drop today at the link below. You better get them quick bits. <laughs> <laughs> Sony kind of stole their thunder with the PS5 news, but Microsoft has confirmed the Xbox One S All Digital Edition will launch May 7th as the first major home console without a disk drive. The new console is the same size as the existing Xbox One S and is technically $50 cheaper at $249 US dollars MSRP. But you can find regular Xbox One S's with disk drives all over the place for $249 as well. So. Let's hope Xbox has some slightly more exciting announcements at E3. They said they would. I trust Phil Spencer. I mean, look at him. He's adorable. Leaks about the OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro have been flying like crazy, and the latest ones seem to indicate the higher end option will feature not only a pop-up camera, but also a Quad HD Super AMOLED display with a 90 hertz refresh rate. Now that's not quite as impressive as the Razer phone's 120 hertz display, but it'll probably come without the whole wannabe Apple complex. So. That's a roast of Razer. It's a big roast. 
Right. Speaking of Apple, that company might be trying to appeal to the small-handed among us once again with a new version of the iPhone SE. A number of reports have pointed to a device launching alongside the iPhone 11 this fall with a profile slightly smaller than that of the vanilla iPhone XS. Look at us. Talking about phones getting smaller again. Feels like 2002. The first US-based trials of the gene editing technique known as CRISPR have begun on human participants at the University of Pennsylvania. Finally! I know. It's to determine the method's effectiveness in treating cancer. And soon, similar trials are set to take place in Canada and Europe as well. CRISPR has huge potential for revolutionizing medical care, but let's hope that we don't end up making ourselves a little crispier in the process. Brutal. See, you gotta take care. You gotta be careful. Move on. And Nikola, the electric car company rival to Tesla, has unveiled a batch of new vehicles. The Nikola 2 is a hydrogen electric hybrid semi truck, although a full electric version is on the way. The Reckless is an all terrain vehicle intended for the military. The WAV is an electric jet ski. And the NZT is another all terrain vehicle for civilians. It's a cool time to be an electric vehicle fan, but not a cool time to be a Thomas Edison fan. Not a single company named after him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for today's news stories in the tech world. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe because we do these every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'll see ya. What's today? It's a Wednesday. I'll see you on a Friday. That's how time works, right? I've heard of it. Not Monday? See you We're later. Not gonna go the not gonna go the other way?